This is the Belkin MagSafe Car Vent Mount Pro. It's a car mount for your iPhone 12 range. It works with all of the different iPhone 12 models. Now you don't get anything else in the box other than this car mount. I'm actually not sure why this is called the Pro other than it being the second version of the Belkin car vent mount that they already had. Again, this is perfect for the iPhone 12 range. Now I have the iPhone 12 Pro. The magnet on it is actually very strong. It holds quite well. If I shake it, relatively lightly it won't fall off if i shake it quite hard it will fall off i'm going to test this into the car it's actually very easy to switch between portrait mode and landscape mode so if you want to have it visible horizontally or vertically you can do that all you have to do is twist it or you can just put it down but you have to kind of find the right position it will kind of clip into place when you're repositioning it onto the actual mount on the back you can actually reposition the handle any direction and it is pretty strong so you have to put a little bit of force onto it this can also twist as well to get into the right position for any type of car vent and then also you have a bit of a gap between the actual mount and the repositioning handle this is for a cable management so you can put your charging cable inside here now the one thing to remember is that this doesn't have any capabilities of connecting a charger for you to have wireless charging so most people would assume that because they have this design you just put your phone on there it will start charging you expected a port to be there at the bottom so you can charge it and have this connected at all times just slam your phone on it will start charging this is not the case which is quite disappointing however there is a lot of cheap knockoffs that I've seen online, mostly sold by China, that have a very similar design to this, that have a USB-C port at the bottom, so you can connect your iPhone 12 as a wireless charger. However, the magnet level on those ones are not going to be as strong as this one. So let's go ahead, head over to my car, mount this up and see the capabilities of it. Right, so just before I go in and connect this to the air vent, I just wanna let you guys know, if you don't have a MagSafe case for your iPhone 12, I have one that's just a simple clear case that's a, not an Apple certified one. The magnetic strength on this will be very light and it wouldn't be able to hold it. So you'll see the lightest touch, it will fall down. So if you are gonna use a case with this Belkin uh, car mount here, then make sure you get the Apple certified one. So the first thing I'm gonna do is connect my phone without the case and I'll connect it to the air vent here on the right hand side of the driver wheel. So depending on the orientation of your air vents, you can actually just twist the entire back of this to make it vertical or horizontal and then you simply just click it in. Now the one thing I'm really confident about with this is the magnet on it is very strong. However, if you are going to be twisting this in a sort of landscape mode, then make sure you take it out, then twist it manually because this is very heavy duty and if you have a lightweight plastic on your air vents, then it could break and snap if you try to force the twist. So now let me go ahead and connect it here. Just make sure nothing is in the way because your phone is going to be slightly higher than that. So I'll put it like this. There you go. You have to sometimes adjust it so it clicks into place, but you will hear a slight click. But as you can see, it's pretty solid. Even if I'm moving just the phone around and nothing else, it isn't popping off, it's staying solid. So when I'm driving, it will be very easy to just maintain that same position and it's not gonna fiddle around, drop or change orientation in any way possible. So the one thing I do like about this Belkin car mount is that it's very heavy duty and I have a lot of faith and comfortability knowing that it will keep my phone secure. Let's go ahead and move it into the central panel now of the car. In my Range Rover Velar, I have this large central screen here which will get in the way of the air vent there. So what I'm gonna do is now make this into a horizontal mode and just connect it like this so as you can see I have a phone mount on the dash already this one just clips the phone into place I'll give you an example like so and it's very easy I can just twist it and face it in different directions but of course I have to reach for it I have to manually put it into place I have to make some adjustments to make it into vertical mode to hang it on there but this makes it very easy all I have to do is just snap it into place and I'm ready to go and to make it vertical obviously all you have to do is just twist it it maintains the strength it's very strong it's not going to be moving but of course i need the screen to open so in this position i will always leave it in horizontal landscape mode like this and actually it looks quite nice it looks like it's floating and when i turn the car on this screen comes out so i feel like i'll have a triple screen setup so i've got one at the bottom i've got one there in the middle and i'll have my phone there at the top now the last thing i wanted to showcase to you guys is a little bit about the cable management so if you look at the back of this 
I have my cable just hidden behind the screen here. This basically says you can get your cable to go around the back of this, but if you take a closer look here, the cable that I have is not the official Apple one, it's a slightly longer one so I can reach from my USB port in the car to this mount. It's a bit thick and I can't easily squeeze it into the back of this. So I don't think the design is you know, perfectly great for the cable management. I've seen a lot of cables that are around the same width as this cable that I have and it's not going to be very easy to squeeze it in and plus I wouldn't want my cable to be just hanging around the back of that getting in the way of screens and steering wheels and all these kinds of things so that's probably a really bad design if they did go for the charging port underneath like this I think that would have been so much better so what I have to do is just have this in there like this connects my phone like that and then have the cable connected like that which makes it not too bad it's easy to do and I'll have to live with it like that but again I think it does a great job overall in that sense so now the last test I want to do is go for a quick drive maybe go over some speed bumps and to see how strong this is and how much it maintains its strength without shaking or moving positions So as you can see, it's pretty solid. It's staying stable, which I think is great. And for me, that's the most key thing about this is the fact that it will maintain that strong magnetic field on the phone and the car mount as well. A little bit of this road is uneven, but I'm gonna be going over a speed bump now as well. And you'll see that it wouldn't even move an inch. And there we go, it's comfortable. I've also driven with this on the motorway. So I've gone at 70 miles per hour and it's really maintained it even at high speed. So I don't feel like this is going to move in whatever condition you'll drive this in. So the best thing I think to have this in the landscape orientation is that when you use this as a satellite navigation, it'll be so quick and easy just to set it up and then start navigating your way to wherever you want to go. So if you want to put on a navigation, you literally just slam that on there and it's solid, it maintains it. And then you can start driving, it's so quick and easy. And I think that's one of the key things that I would be using this for is the ease of usability, especially for things like navigation. Even if I have my Spotify on there and my navigation on there, it'll be easy for me to switch between songs whilst not taking my eye off the road. So in that sense, I think it's actually quite worth it. It's on $34.95 on the Apple website. You can't buy it from Belkin Direct but the link is in the description below of the Apple website link if you wanted to check it out. I feel like there's a lot of things that can do the exact same thing for a lot cheaper. If this had the wireless charging capability in it, I think this would have been so much better and worth the price. Because of that, I don't think it's actually worth 35 pounds. The one above it on the dashboard that I have, I think I can do pretty much exactly the same thing. Just slam it in there, get it ready to go with my navigation and off I go is not too much different other than this being a little bit closer and easier to mount than on the dashboard all right guys if you found that useful make sure you like this video otherwise i hope you subscribe and if you have any questions drop them down below otherwise i'll catch you guys next time take care